Hey GearFacts friends, our task for today is to get these samples onto this awesome little sampler. We've done videos about this one before, but never before have I shown the interaction of software and hardware and how simple and enjoyable it is to do. First we have to actually open our Korg Micro Sampler Editor Librarian. This is great software and obviously it's free from Korg. There's not really any need to maximize it like I just did. It doesn't take up a whole lot of room because it's really quite simple. All of this black area down here is just a waveform analysis viewing window. Let's open our first sample. Now these have been sent to me by a contact, so it's in downloads. And any of these WAV files can be very easily imported one at a time, or you can do the whole bunch in one go. Although, I've got to confess at this point that I've actually forgotten to switch the micro sampler on. Sure enough, the computer senses its presence. Although, to be honest, it's not necessary to have the keyboard on at this stage because you can import all your samples into any of the 37 keys and you can even test them out. Coming through a little bit patchy there, and I'll turn up the volume slightly. Even though that stutters a little bit, I'm quite sure that once I transfer it to the keyboard, it'll function perfectly. It's just a bit of a quirk of the software. But anyway, as I was saying, I can go through all of the keys. I'm going to use the white keys because they're just the quickest to access for sample triggering on stage. You want nice, quick, easy visibility and I think that's 25 white keys so really that's probably enough samples for me to get this job done. Obviously it's a Pink Floyd project so there are going to be lots of sound effects. Let's open another one. We can switch our loop function on and off and simply repeat the process. Open a new sample, here's the third one. Of course we all know these very well. Okay, so that song took one octave's worth of samples. I have a little bit more memory left. So I can load a couple more samples, but eventually... you'll hit this message. The file cannot be read because the bank memory does not have any memory space left. The micro sampler has 10 banks of 37 keys. So that's a heck of a lot of samples at your fingertips, but of course there are limits. All we have to do now is get the software to update the keyboard. And the way we do that is extremely simple. Just go to communication and transmit to current bank. And we get the usual message saying this is going to delete whatever you've got in there at the moment. And that's perfectly fine. The data size is too large, I forgot about that. So what we've got to do is delete that one and delete that one. And so all we've got are the samples for Wall Part 2, probably Pink Floyd's most well-known song. Let's try it again. Transmit to the current bank. This operation will delete everything. And we're doing it. And we're done. That transmission took about 25 seconds. And a quick test with a little speaker just to make sure we're okay. But of course we're not wrong, it's all worked perfectly. And I've got to say, it's refreshing to see a transfer system working in such a straightforward and logical kind of way because anybody who's had experience with this kind of thing will probably be familiar with long hours of troubleshooting and all kinds of problem solving. But on the micro sampler it's great. It's not a perfect machine, it has some funny 
foibles when it comes to the way it operates, particularly with this system of knobs and buttons over here. It's quite weird. But once all the data is in place, it really is extremely versatile and I do love it. So that's my little demo of transferring samples to the Korg micro sampler. If you've got any questions, feel free to put them in the comments. I do try to respond to every question that comes my way on Gearfacts. And please like, comment or subscribe. I look forward to seeing you on the next one.